Which certs are entry level? What's up everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing exactly which certifications are to be considered entry level certifications for those of you looking to get started into the IT world. Now, before I do that, understand that I'm speaking strictly from the perspective of somebody who was trying to enter IT by starting off going possibly the help desk route and working their way up to networking, cybersecurity and things of that nature. I'm not going to be talking about those who want to go to college to go get uh, computer science or engineering degree or somebody looking to get into coding. I'm talking about people who want to go the e what I believe is the easiest path by jumping straight into help desk type of work, which from there they can branch off and do all kinds of wonderful things in their career. All right. So let's get into it. Today, I'm going to be talking about the IT fundamentals certification, the A plus, the network plus and the security plus certification. I'm going to explain to you exactly what these certifications are and how they tie into being classified as an entry level IT certification. All right. So our first certification that we have on the screen is the IT fundamental certification abbreviated as ITF plus. And as you can see on the screen, it says it helps professionals to decide if a career in IT is right for them or not, or to develop a broader understanding of IT um, only pre-career certification the only pre-career certification that helps students or career changers determine if they have a competency for information technology. The only single certification that covers all areas of IT foundations, creating a broader understanding of IT, making it ideal for non-technical professionals. And it also establishes an IT education framework for students in middle and high school. This exam has a max of 75 questions a 60 minute time limit and the cost of this exam is $123. Now, this is the most elementary certification that CompTIA has to offer, period, point blank, in the discussion. This, it, it is my belief that people should only take this certification if they legit do not know anything about IT at all, other than how to hit the power button and watch YouTube videos and buy stuff off Amazon. If you are one of those people or you are a middle school or high school starting off in IT, I would recommend starting with this certification because it is going to cover a wide range of topics to get you familiar with the overall world and the lingo and terminology associated with information technology. So that's why I would recommend this cert. And that's why this cert is considered an entry level IT certification. All right, next we have the A plus certification. So the A plus certification is a two part exam consisting of core one, which is also known as hardware. That exam number is 221001. And then core two, which is known as the software test. And that exam number is 221002. And this exam will help you demonstrate baseline security skills for IT support professionals. It'll teach you how to configure device operating systems, including Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome operating systems, Android and iOS and administer client based as well as cloud based software. It'll teach you how to troubleshoot and perform troubleshoot and problem solve core services and support challenges while applying basic practices for documentation, change management and scripting support basic IT infrastructure and networking, configure and support PC, mobile and IoT device hardware, implement basic data backup and recovery methods and apply data storage and manage best practices. This exam or both exams, I should say, are a max of 90 questions per exam and they both have a maximum time limit of 90 minutes and each exam costs $226. Now understand, you have to pass both exams in order to get the A plus certification. And you could take the exams anytime you want, meaning you could take the 2000, uh, the core one today, eight months later, you could take the core two. And as soon as you pass core two, assuming you pass core one, you get your A plus, or you could take them in any order. You could do the core two first or the core one. It's totally up to you, but you have to pass both tests in order to get the A plus certification. Now with this certification, 
as you guys are going out there researching about entry level IT search, you're going to come across a lot of other guys who teach IT who tell you to start with this certification first. And technically, they are not wrong. The only thing that I kind of challenge with this narrative is I don't believe this exam is for somebody who knows absolutely nothing about IT at all. I believe this exam is more specifically geared towards somebody who may know a little something, something about IT because they have been tinkering with computers on their own and they understand the basic concepts uh, or at least the, the basic uh, quote unquote guts of a computer in terms of motherboard, RAM and all that other stuff. Right. And plus you look, you get down to the price. This is a two hundred and twenty six dollar exam per exam means you have to pay that that price at a bare minimum of two times if you want to get the A plus cert. So we're looking at around a 400 something dollar certification. I don't know about you guys, but that could potentially be pricey for somebody who is literally just starting off in IT who doesn't know anything about IT. I don't know how comfortable they would be picking out $226 per exam just to, to figure out if whether or not they think they're going to be good or if they even want to learn more about information technology when they can just kick out the $123, learn IT fundamentals and go about their business to make a decision as to whether or not they want to move forward or not. Right. So, but overall, when it comes to the A plus, this exam is, is pretty solid. It's going to give you a well-rounded understanding of the internal components of desktops, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and and uh, the operating systems and the software that is associated with these devices. It's just going to give you a well-rounded understanding so that you understand at the most elementary level how a device works from a hardware and software perspective. All right. So A plus is a solid cert that you all should get. And also it is a recommended cert. Well, not even going to say recommended, but it's oftentimes a required cert that you get if you want to go into help desk work at doing tier one stuff. All right, the next certification we're gonna talk about is the Network Plus certification. And the Network Plus certification, basically it teaches you to design and implement functional networks, configure, manage, and maintain essential network devices, use devices such as switches and routers to segment network traffic and create resilient networks, identify benefits and drawbacks, of existing network configurations, implement network security standards and protocols, troubleshoot network problems, support the creation of virtualized networks. And this exam has a max of 90 questions with a 90 minute time limit. And this exam costs $329 for this exam. So this will be the exam that I would recommend people take after they get their A plus certification, go straight to the network plus. Now, Little caveat, you'll hear some other people talking about this and they're going to recommend that some of you guys go take an exam called the ICND-1. Basically, the ICND-1 is basically half of, it is one part of, a, of, of an exam that helps people get their CCNA. So you get the ICND-1, ICND-2, pass both exams, you get a CCNA, or you can just go take the full-blown CCNA. But the ICND-1 is very similar to the Network Plus exam. Some people say you can just skip the Network Plus and go straight to ICND-1. That is true. You can do that. But I personally would not recommend somebody to do that unless they already have a solid understanding of computers and basic networking concepts. If you don't have a solid understanding of computers and basic networking concepts, I recommend you start with the IT fundamentals or the A plus and then go to the network plus um, certification. Because another thing, the ICND one certification, it just deals with Cisco products. The network plus certification is a vendor neutral certification where you could take this knowledge and apply it ac across a wide array of different technologies from different vendors and makers. So that's why I say go with the network plus certification after you take the A plus because with network plus is going to teach you the basics of the basics about how to network computers, how to connect your computer to the internet, what type of internet connections are out there, how to, uh, do basic network security, how to create um, uh, network resiliency, like it said, to where if 
a portion of a device in your network goes down, you can create it to where another device will take over to make sure that you have constant network con connectivity. So that is what the type of stuff that you will learn in Network Plus, just an overall basic understanding of how computer networks function. All right, the next certification we're going to talk about is the Security Plus certification. So the Security Plus certification establishes core knowledge required of any cybersecurity role and provides a springboard to intermediate level cybersecurity jobs. It incorporates best practices and hands-on troubleshooting to ensure security professionals have practical security problem-solving skills, ensures cybersecurity professionals know how to address security incidents versus just identifying them, and focuses on the latest trends and techniques in risk management, risk mitigation, threat management, and intrusion detection. This uh, exam has a max of 90 questions and a 90 minute time limit, and it costs $349. The Security Plus certification, depending upon who you talk to, some consider it to be a entry level cert, some consider it to be an intermediate cert. I've always viewed it as an entry level cert because it teaches you the it gives you the basic bare necessities of understanding uh, of how basic computer security works, whether you're dealing with physical security, uh, security on the actual device, network security, or just trying to identify uh, any type of threats that may exist out there in, in, the, in the real world or in the digital world that may directly affect your computer and or network or even dealing with personnel that you may be working with or in charge of. So this just gives you a solid understanding of just overall basic security concepts, right? So I would also recommend that you take this certification after you take the Network Plus certification. So ideally the order should be, if you don't know anything about entry, uh, entry level, if you don't know anything about IT period, start with the IT fundamentals. If you do know a little something, something about computers, start with the A plus and then go to the network plus and then to the security plus. Those three or four certifications are going to give you an overall broad understanding of of how basic computers and machines operate and function in terms of their hardware, software, how to connect these machines together to make them talk and share data and communicate, and then also how to be, uh, implement basic security concepts to protect these computer systems and their networks. These are the four entry-level IT certifications that I recommend everybody who is brand new to IT, who is looking to go into potentially a tier one style help desk role with the possibility of moving up to becoming uh, some, some sort of network architect or some type of cybersecurity personnel out there in the IT profession. I would start with these certifications. Um, as you can see, the prices, depending upon what your budget is, it can potentially get a little expensive, especially if you guys mess around and don't pass these exams on the first try, because you're going to find out right then and there as to whether or not you passed or failed. And if you failed, and this is a certification that you want to get because it's a requirement of your job or it is a requirement of a job that you are applying for. Well, guess what? You're going to have to kick out that price again. It's just the way it is. And another thing with the Security Plus certification, if you're looking to get into a government role, whether you're working directly for the government or you are some type of contractor for the government, you are going to have to have this security plus certification This is a mandatory cert just to enter an it role that deals with the government so you gotta get it you gotta you're gonna have to study and pass it and you can do it a lot of people study and pass this thing is not no big deal the biggest deal in my opinion is just taking the time to study and properly prepare so that you can past these certifications. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my, well, not necessarily my, but those are the four entry level IT certifications that I recommend everybody who is looking to start a career in IT begin with those certs. Once again, if you don't know anything about computers whatsoever, I highly recommend that you start with IT fundamentals. It only costs $123 and 
You can take that certification and then decide if IT is right for you. If you do know something about computers, be, you know, like, like you've been tinkering around with these things, start with the A+, then go to the Network+, plus, and then go to the Security+, plus because things that you learn in the higher levels, the quote unquote higher level certs, like Security+, plus, they're going to talk, they're going to touch on things that might be related to the Network+, plus and the A+, plus. in the same way with the Network+, plus, they're going to touch on things or expect you to have learned things that have been, that were taught in the A+, plus certification. So, IT fundamentals, A plus, net plus, security plus. You get those four certifications or those three, if, if, if you assume you just go with the A plus, net plus, and security plus, but you get those certifications, you will have a very great understanding of basic computer components, basic computer networking concepts, and basic computer security concepts. And you will successfully go out there and land a job in IT. You know, assuming they want to hire you because they like your personality and you do real well at the interview and all that great, wonderful stuff. But at least on the technical aspect on paper, you will have demonstrated that, you know, a lot about entry level IT from that standpoint. All right. So for more information on this or if you want to go ahead and take a peek at my IT fundamentals course that I have up, you can visit my website, Technology G and get read up on the latest and greatest to help you go out there and start picking names and doing all that great, wonderful stuff so that you can go out there and get it on and popping in the wonderful world of IT. So until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.